Hello everybody, it seems that already two months has passed again since my last update about clap news and it seems that also via those Christmas holidays there are some really interesting new updates turned up. So let's dive right in. You already see it on a screen. The biggest new information might totally gone beyond your radar and it is that ARA so ARA, the standard coming from Salomony, mainly to integrate their Melodyne software, now gets support for Clap. I'm not sure how it's exactly pronounced, ARA or ARA. I, let's go with ARA, it's, it's easier to pronounce. Yeah, this thing is not a full-blown plugin interface standard. Instead, it's an extension to existing standards, which provides Salomony the missing functions they need to implement something like Melodyne. So for example, get access to the play position, to get access to the waveforms and such things. Also some other plugins, for example, Steinberg has some plugins, which also use now are to implement such additional uh, tighter integration into the host. As you see on the right, there are extension supported audio units and experimental also their version three, as well as VST3. So also no VST2, only VST3. And now we have now also the specification here and the API for the support for clap so this surely raises big hopes now that this gets the final push that bitwig will finally and hopefully implement ara as well in bitwig studio and this would really great to see so moving on, uh, looking again at the GlackDB tech news, as usual, several new developers came into the game, new software titles. So currently there is a number 155 as well as additional free software titles. And it's always worth to dive into that and find some new plugins. And I extracted the highlights for you. And my absolute highlight is the DSP 56300 emulation, which you also might not heard about. It's also a little bit something going under the radar. This is a simulator actually for this DSP chip, which was in a lot of synths of the 90s. For example, the virus B and C, and I think also the TI has this chip, and that's also the current implementation you have. So you need to somehow get the OSs and the firmwares of these synths, which is not too difficult to find in the internet, and then you can run it with this emulator. For example, this is the user interface here for the virus C, and they're, I think they're planning also now some Waldorf students which also had this chip in the 90s and they support now the clap format and I tested it and it seems to run nicely. Next one is, so you might have heard of Hermann Seib, which is quite a legend in the synth business. He worked, for example, for PPG back in the day, and I totally dig his website, which is so, <laughs> which is totally old school and yeah, pretty cool. So it's pretty the same from the 90s when he first created this web page. And you might have heard of VST Host. That's a VST Host that he also developed since VST was there, also supports VST3 by now. And he looked now into Clap as well. So there is now an alpha version available of this software and you can download it here from this address by the way all links again are down in the description of the video so you don't have to type it here from the video you can get it and test it out and it's a really nice no bs host where you can test plugins and it also does the job pretty nicely if you want to connect different plugins for example experiment with effects and that and it does a really nice job as a simple host for example if you want to play live or just test a plugin without a big host around it. For example, I just loaded here to test it, search XT in the clap version, and this seems to run nicely as well in this alpha version of VST host. Only thing you need to do if you install it, if that's not even installed, you just uh, unpack the zip file. If you download it, you can directly run it. You just need to add the clap directory, and then it will rescan also that directory, and you can also access then the clap plugins. Moving on to the developer side of Clap, and there is now a new tool many people have been waiting for is the Clap Wrapper. So Clap Wrapper does the following thing. It wraps your Clap plugin into VST3. The nice thing about this is the, currently most developers develop for the common denominator of all different plugin standards, which means you get only the basic features of all these interfaces, which is actually a pretty bad thing. And now you can work the other way around. So if you implement 
and a lot of the extensions of CLAP. So we have not a common denominator, but more like a best of all implementation of the functions and features. And this wrapper for VST3 then also supports many VST technologies, which people did not implement so far, like node expressions or the IMEDI mapping and this is then also available via this wrapper and you don't have to do any additional work and also the outlook for this year is now that they're also working on apple's audio units so you can use clap as your main implementation format and then simply wrap it with a wrapper and you will get also a vst3 and an audio unit version of your plugin Another nice tool from the CLAP team themselves is the CLAP validator, which runs several tests on your CLAP plugin to check if it really confirms to the standard. And for example, I also tried this with just out of curiosity. I ran it against the search XT file and there were much more pages. I did not screenshot all of them and it passed all these tests, except there is one warning that the scan time is much too long. So there is still room for improvement improvements there as well. And I think if you are a developer for Clap plugins, you should definitely run this test before you release it. Looking at Clap itself, so Bitwig did not move up to the latest release. It's just 1.1.2, but the newest releases are basically as well about clarifications in the description. So as new developers are coming into the game, they have questions and so the text is not always clear. So main new things are basically refinements of the description of the API. And as you see, we are currently moved up already to 1.1.6 and also 1.1.7 is pretty close as I saw on the discussion groups. And yeah, so this is really moving at a fast speed. If you look at the changes list, most of the stuff is basically clarifications or some improvements on the make files and such things. So no real change to the standard, but there's a lot of work going on into extensions. And there's also some new draft extensions. If you have not heard about this concept, so CLAP it uses a core concept, which has a stable API and then more specific or not used by every plugin features are so-called extensions. And there are some new ones now, for example, if you change your audio setup with ports, the plugins can get notified. You can give information how to fill additional functions into a context menu in the dorm and so on. So this is more of interest for developers to look into these as well, but they are currently experimental. But if you're a developer, totally join here the mailing list on GitHub and make your voice heard if you want to form these new extensions. And that's also something for me to look in all the currently available extensions, but I I need to find some time to do that. That's it already for this month. I think pretty cool things, especially the information about Ara is really cool. And until next time, write some funky code.